Hello, everybody. I'm Nikehead. We are playing Planet Explorers. Uh, today, I've, I'm over here at the forest camp. Just got here. Uh, actually, the second time I've done it, because the last time I didn't save when I got here. And then I, you know, quick traveled away, came back, and Tariq had disappeared. So I don't know what's... I hope that doesn't happen again. Um, I'm assuming what happened is he glitched back to the where you found him, like somewhere over here. Which would be really annoying if it did, because you'd be searching all over for him. Uh, so hopefully that's not going to happen again. Uh, if, if you notice, I'm wearing... Uh, where can we see it? Over here. Uh, the headlamp. This was added in 0 0.53, because in the last game we were playing in a world that had started in 0 0.52, we, we didn't have this. This is really neat. This is really useful. You can, uh, it, it, you know, obviously it's a headlamp. It provides light wherever you're looking, which is really helpful when you're digging a cave. Um, so anyway, I bought some materials here. Let's go into the vehicle creation thing. <clears throat> I picked up, uh, where is it here? I picked up a mid-output engine. And we also have a low-output engine. We might use that too at some point. Uh, and we have a vehicle cockpit. We picked that up last episode. We've got two steering wheels. We still need to make the other wooden wheels. Um, I didn't buy any headlights. But I also noticed this over here, that you can put these... turrets on the vehicle? Really? I guess you'd have to use a large vehicle for this more, but... I had no idea you could do this. Do they actually work? That's something that would be worth kind of checking out, I think. <clears throat> Maybe make some kind of moving gun platform. You can put cannons on there. Uh, a catapult, a long cannon, that would be neat. This would be awesome. Just a car covered in cannons. So that's something we might have to check out. Um, but I think, uh, now that we have Nanyang and we can buy these mid-output engines, Let's make kind of a smaller car um, that can actually use this. Uh, and I'm going to take a quick break here while I work on this a little bit because this is probably going to take quite a bit. And I'll, I'll come back when I have something of a design going here, so I'll be right back. Okay, we are back. Uh, I did a little bit of work in here. First thing I want to take a look at, uh, let's just jump over here for one sec. Take a look at this. This is one of the guns I bought from Tariq. Look at the size of this thing! This is amazing! It's like a battleship gun. Unfortunately, here's the thing about it. It's a giant tease. <clears throat> Just a giant tease, because... You can't get an engine yet that has the ability to actually power it. This would be amazing to have on a car, but... The mid-output engine is too weak for it. And as far as I know, you can't get the high output engine in the story mode yet. So that is really unfortunate. Because that would be awesome. I want to see that thing fire. Um, there's also another thing that's kind of a tease. Uh, no, I don't want to save that. Is the... There's what? There's a laser cannon. I bought the script from Nan Yang. Uh, but you need... Small chipset and glass slides. Glass slides you can buy. Uh, I haven't found a small chipset yet. Nobody's selling them. There's one person over at the forest camp that sells p parts that kind of sound like it's what you would use in this, like silicon and stuff like that. Maybe if we do quests for her, she'll give us that script. That would be neat, so that's something to look at. Um, but I really wish we could get that giant gun. That would be awesome. Uh, so instead, what we're going to do, I've just kind of modified the car we had last time. The gun is now well positioned. That's exactly where you want a giant gun. Right in front of your view uh, from the driver's seat. So that is excellent. Uh, I've upgraded the engine. It's now a mid-output engine. Can we select it? No. Okay, fine. Uh, but it's now a mid-output engine, and up top we have the latest in car-based weaponry. 
a cannon of some kind on a swivel. And I want to actually see if that works, because that would be neat. So, uh, let's export this. Export. And it worked! Okay! So, let's take a look at this car. That would be under what? Equipment? Item? Item, there we go. Iron car. <clears throat> Looking good. Looks well balanced. Looks very aerodynamic as well. It's like somebody took an Edsel from the 1920s and just bolted guns to it. So does this... How's the handling? Oh, it's a peppier, I think. I think it moves a little bit faster. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. <laughs> uh, that is a well-designed gun. Or well-designed car. So the cannon turned. Was it going to shoot at something? Am I stuck? Really? There we go. <clears throat> The cannon looks like it's turned. Is it going to fire at hostile creatures? If I drive up to this guy, is it going to shoot at it? Yes, it is! Awesome. Awesome. So it actually does fire, but it looks like it only auto-targets hostile mobs. Uh, what if I make that hostile? Is it going to shoot at it now? No. Okay. So it's only going to shoot mobs that would otherwise be hostile already, which is fine. Is he going to target that guy? Yeah, there it goes. This could be problematic in that it is going to just randomly start shooting things that we might not want shot at. Um... This is kind of, like, if we put, if we made a giant car and put, uh, like, those long cannons on it, this would be, basically be land-based battleship. I'm not going to complain about that, but that would be amazing. I think that's something maybe to aim for. Let's create a land battleship. We're not going to do it this episode because what I need to do is use this car to go hunting. Uh, I need to go find... some uh, some of those larger creatures, which would be probably this way. Actually, if we're being serious about this. Um, this car does kind of feel peppier, but uh, like we could create one of those giant car, like the, the, the large kind of creation area. Make one of those, put just like ten cannons on it, like five on both sides. And you would basically be a battleship. And that would be amazing. And I wonder if maybe... Um... Where are we? I can't... Get at the map. Oh yeah, M. M for map. Oh. Hello. There we go. M for map, right. Okay, we're kind of way... Way away from where we want to be. <clears throat> it's over this way. But yeah, giant car, like 10 cannons, those long cannons on both sides. And just like a moving weapons platform for no reason. That would be awesome. I think that's what we're going to do uh, maybe next episode. Possibly. Uh, but this episode, unfortunately this thing isn't moving as fast as I hoped it kind of would. Uh, I want to see if you can jump a car. Can you, like, the, is the physics there, and can you get enough speed, really? Which, <clears throat> if I was worried about speed, I probably shouldn't have put this giant cannon on top of the car. That might have been a poor choice. Although, I don't know if that, really, I'm stuck on that. I'm Good job, okay. Um... I'm not... Yeah, the, putting the giant cannon on top might have been a poor idea if uh, I'm worried about kind of speed. Um, but I think if we do it like near the ocean, if we got a good run at it going downhill, 
set up some kind of a ramp. It might be viable. Uh, so let's just kind of truck it over here. And hopefully we won't get killed on the way. And we I have a, like a ton of dirt and limestone and that kind of stuff, so... I want to see if we can jump the river. I want to see if it's possible to jump the river. Also kill that guy, because he's got a lot of meat. Oh, it's gonna rain. Alright, I guess it's gonna rain. Let's, uh, park. Yeah, X for break. Can I get out? Oh, R. There we go. Give me your meat. Um, I think I might take uh, a bit of a break, wait for the rain to go away, because the rain is really annoying to work with. And it lasts for just hours, and there's no way to get rid of it. So, I'm going to go over to the river. And when I get back, we will try to jump this car like the General Lee. So, I'll be right back. And we're back. The rain has stopped. We have a bit of a ramp set up here. Let's give this a try. Let's get a good running start at this, too. So, <clears throat> let's head over here somewhere. Um, kind of rethinking putting this giant cannon on top of this. This might not have been the smartest decision. Um, oh, oh is, is he attacking us? No, he's just walking. Okay. So. Try oh, crap. Really? There you go. You know what? I'm going to take that guy out, too. There we go. Uh, let's see if we can get a running start. Let's see if we can stay on point. <clears throat> Stop rolling down the hill. Okay. Bring it around. Very good. <clears throat> now, I don't know what's going to happen when we actually hit the hill. It might just stop dead and it's going to tumble off the top. We are really not getting any kind of speed here. So it just, it actually just stopped. It can't actually go up a hill. Or at least not an incline like that. That's a little really annoying. There's a dragon. Oh, that's so disappointing that it just comes to a stop there. I really wanted to jump this car. Huh. Can we take the dragon without getting killed? Oh, maybe not. Oh no, we got him. We got him. There we go. Okay, very good. I always forget we have brakes. There we go. Um, die, bird. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's really disappointing. I was really hoping we'd be able to jump this. But I guess that's not going to be a possibility. In any event, we didn't get really enough speed to probably do much anyway. Um, but this also kind of ruins my plan for me. Like, I wonder if maybe you can go up a one step. Like, maybe that's just too much of an angle. Because what I really wanted to kind of do was create a... Like, eventually... When, oh, come on, really? Where were you then, Cannon? Uh, one of the things they kind of wanted to do was create, when we actually make, like, a castle or something, have, like, a ramp coming in that I can just drive the car up. Uh, it could be a 90 degree angle, or a 45 degree angle might be too much for the car, and that's not really unreasonable, but it is unfortunate. I'm gonna kill this guy, because I want his meat. There we go. Where is, where is the hitbox? There we go. 
Um, so if we did, let's bring out the blocks here, if I can. There we go. So if we did this, no, that's probably still too much of an angle there. That one block is probably more than it can go up. Uh, let's test that. Oh, you can't even get up that lip, so yeah, that is too much of a jump. One block. Uh, I hope they change that. Because, I mean, it looks like the vehicle would easily be able to make it up that slope. It's not that ridiculous. Like, we even can't get up kind of at the side there. Hmm. <clears throat> Better vehicle handling is definitely something I'm looking forward to this game, ham or this game having. What are we even stuck on now? A slight curve. Really? Really? Oh, seriously? Okay, you know what? Screw it. I don't need your... Out of curiosity, are we losing oxygen? Oh, we are. Okay. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I can get up this hill. Well, I could. Now I'm kind of stuck. Well, we were going up that slope when we just came out of a riverbed. What have I done? Okay, let's, let's actually get out and get the car back. Um, so I still think the weapons platform is a good idea. I think that would still be cool to have, even if it doesn't really attack monsters I would want it to attack. Like the giant meat-giving guys. Um, but this is really kind of a disappointment that we can't get up that slope. So I think, uh, I think we're going to end it here. I'm not sure how long we've been going. It feels like it might be a little bit short, but, uh... Next episode, I think what we're going to do is try to make that weapons platform. I don't have the script for the long cannon yet, I don't think. Uh, no. But I think we can either buy it for... In fact, let's head over there now. Okay, let's, let's head there. Okay, so we, I think we can either buy it from Chen. Oh. Uh, yeah. Do we have enough? Oh yeah, okay. Fair enough. So what do we actually need for the long cannon? Just iron. Okay, so yeah, we could easily outfit, you know, some kind of a mobile weapons platform with that. That is maybe something we'll look into. Uh, but we're going to do that next episode for now. And you know what else we might do? We might set up some of this stuff here. Because we can also, buy, like, we can't make, as far as I can tell, these laser cannons and that yet. But we can buy them. Uh, now that we have a car, hunting for meat is very easy. Uh, so one of the other things I want to look into is getting those and... Where is it? Where is it? Um, missile launcher. Those would be cool to have as a kind of a defense system. We also need to work on the walls here. Maybe uh, put the platforms up there. And then, I guess, even really just completely seal in the base here. <clears throat> Unfortunately, we can't jump the car in like I hoped we could, although maybe... You know, if we put a, a big ramp coming off from somewhere up there... And then we just kind of tumble in... That might work. Uh, <laughs> so I think we'll, yeah, maybe we'll look at some of these things next episode. Primarily the mobile weapons platform. Of course, then we would never be able to get out of this place, would we, with the car? Huh. Anyway, yeah. 
Okay, so, once again, I'm Nightcat. We've been playing Planet Explorers. I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Take care.